My name is Jane Setterfield. I'm a reader in oral dermatology and consultant dermatologist at King's College London and Guy's and St Thomas's NHS Foundation Trust. I'm also the senior author on this paper and PI for this study. We undertook this study to validate a novel scoring tool that we've devised and used in our department for the last 12 years for measuring the severity of oral lesions in Pemphigus vulgaris and the response to treatment. However, the Oral Disease Severity Score, ODSS, can also be used for oral lichen planus and mucous membrane pemphigoid. The primary aim of this study was to validate ODSS for use in oral pemphigus. Our secondary aim was to compare its reliability and ease of use with the previously published and validated PDAI and ABSIS, as well as the Physician's Global Assessment Score. It's well recognised that one of the limitations of analysing the clinical outcomes for oral pemphigus uh, in the literature has been the lack of use of a validated, reliable scoring tool for the oral mucosa. Furthermore, the oral mucosa can be one of the most recalcitrant sites in pemphigus, and therefore routine use of a detailed yet quick assessment method would be extremely useful in our dermatology and oral medicine practice. So how did we do the study? We invited 10 oral medicine clinicians from around the UK and 15 patients with active oral pemphigus to our centre on one day. All clinicians were taught the use of all four methods, both before and again on the study day. All patients were scored by all clinicians using all four scoring tools and two clinicians re-scored all the patients after a minimum two hour interval. So what were the main findings? Well, we found that the inter-observer reliability, that is between clinicians, was highest with ODSS, with a benchmark score of very good. For intra-observer reliability, that is within the same scorer, the results were near perfect with a benchmark score of excellent. For, PDA, for PDAI, the scores were very good and good. For abscess, good and fair. And for PGA, scores were good for both. The mean time taken for, take, for scoring ODSS and abscess was 76 seconds, so really very quick. For PDAI, it was 50% longer at just under two minutes. So why is this study relevant to dermatologists? Well, ODSS records disease activity at 17 oral sites with a maximum score of 106, the widest range of all the methods tested. We believe that combined with its very good reliability, ODSS most accurately reflects subtle changes in disease severity. As it is also quick and easy to use, we hope that it will be a useful clinical outcome measure for routine dermatology and oral medicine practice for patients with oral lesions. Furthermore, as it is already being taken up in other centres, we hope that it will be useful for multi-centre clinical trials. Many thanks.